And Nicole, along those same lines of, of that first question that Pete just asked you, what was your biggest takeaway last year filling in for Tyreek and Sammy that you're able to use this year? It's sort of like a, what was your biggest learning lesson from filling in last year? Oh, well, I think things are faster. I think it was my rookie year. Uh, I, I just got kind of like threw into the fire, you know, and um, it was kind of like, oh, overwhelming. But I think this year is more so um, I'm, I'm more experienced. Um, I kind of everything settled down for me. It's slow for me. So it's kind of like I'm, I'm ready for that role and I'm just waiting for that time to come. So um, and I don't never want to come as like something like this with an injury or whatever like that. But um, but if it comes like this, then, you know, I'll be ready for that challenge. I, I think I'm be ready and um, just go from there. So I think just the experience and that I took from last year and bring it to this year and the different things I can do on the field, especially being out there more of, you know, just making plays when it come my way and, you know, knowing what the offense is looking for and what Coach Reed is looking for and what Pat is looking for. So I think that's just it plays a role in that. Let's go next to Sarin Petro. Go ahead, Sarin. Uh, McCool, a uh, couple things. One, uh, I'm curious just overall what you think maybe teams are doing differently against you guys. You know, there's a lot of conversation, although it's, it seems kind of comedic, people saying what's wrong with the offense when you score 32 points, right? But uh, there's kind of this perception that they're taking away some of the big plays. So I'm curious if you could just kind of uh, give a breakdown of what you think is going on there. And then just, uh, to, you know, what did you do to with Buffalo playing on a Tuesday? You know, you had a chance to watch – your next opponent, usually you guys are always playing at the same time, right? Or on your drive home, maybe if they're playing late game, something like that. This time you had a night game where you could watch your opponent uh, after you guys had maybe already started digging into things. So I'm curious what you did during uh, to, during that game. Uh, to answer your first question, I think I heard you correctly. If you want to say that one more time for me. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I apologize. Uh, just just what, what they're doing differently. Like, do you, do you agree with they're taking away your big plays and what okay. teams are doing differently? Got you down. Okay, yeah. Uh, no, I just think they're trying to show us something we haven't seen before. And um, I think, you know, we, as an offense, we just got to execute better on on certain things that we call and, and just really take what they give us. We know the big play is going to be there, you know, and we just got to do a better job of taking it when they actually give us the big play. I mean, guys playing 30 yards off, so it's kind of hard to, you know, get behind them. But we still manage to do that anyway, you know. So it's it just depends on what they're giving us. They're they trying to take away the deep ball. But you got guys like Travis and, like, at the time, Sammy, that can work underneath the, uh, those guys and, and get open. You know, our man Tyreek might take the top off or whatever it may be. So it just it just got we just got to be more more efficient as an offense together and taking what they give us and and taking our whatever they give us, take it. And then when it, the big play do present itself, then take that as well. So it's just us on the offense. I think we'd be fine. I don't think they're really doing nothing to stop us or hurt us. We if it's so, we hurt ourselves. And um so and we know that. So we're gonna be better. You know, going into this week and we're gonna practice that and. You know, throw more things at them that they probably haven't seen us do. And as um, far as the the game, um, I think more so seeing on TV is kind of different. You like, oh, whatever. But you definitely can see a whole game and probably get some more film review while you're at home chilling and see what they do, fit, their defense doing, and um, see how they plan and what you can get from it. So yeah, definitely, it, it's a advantage a little bit to see a, a game fully, a whole game itself, like from you know, from your home. You know, so let's go next to Adam Teicher. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, McCall, uh, a couple things. Um, first of all, the, the, not, a lot of the numbers, as you know, show that the Chiefs are a better offensive team when Sammy's on the field as opposed to when he's not. Are there some things you can point to on the stat sheet that, that, that aren't on the stat sheet maybe that Sammy does that sort of makes this offense run? And, and Brad, I'll have one quick follow-up uh, in a minute here. Um, yeah, I think Sammy, he, he does things like he, he blocked very well. He, he's a very good position route runner underneath you know that I think people don't really see what he does he get guys open you know especially um because he with guys like him you really got to draw attention to Sammy because he also is good after the catch as well so it's not there's not a guy that you just want to just keep catching the ball over and over like this so you got to put some attention to him and um I think um, like I was saying earlier with Kelsey and him working underneath me and Tyreek over the top I think what, what he does is special that you know that makes everybody around him better. He's a good leader. You know, he, he makes sure everybody good. And um, and like I said, he, he blocks very well in certain situations. He, he blocks after the catch, and he's good after the catch, you know. So those things are there is things that, like, me, myself, or, like, Pringle have to, you know, step up on and why why if he is out of this game or whatever and um step up and, and fill those kind of roles and some of that production that he had. So, um yeah, stuff like that, you definitely got to – um you know, take notice of what Sammy does, not with the ball in his hands, but what he do without the ball in his hands. Yeah, now you, you, uh, you're you your own player with your own strengths and you you have your own things you bring to the offense. But do you feel like you can do some of those things if 
indeed Sammy's out for a game or two or whatever, you can do some of the things he does and bring some of those qualities to the offense? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I think I can, I can go out there and block for sure. I think I can get guys open. I, I can do all that that's needed of me, you know what I'm saying? Is Sammy a little bit better blocking than me? Yeah, he's a bigger, you know, a bigger frame, a bigger guy, and um, they can, you know, take on bigger blocks. But, you know, me, myself, I'm um, I'm going to go in there and block and do the best I can to help my guys out. And um, and I'm like, I'm not going to shy away from it. So I definitely got that. I can pick up some of that slack for sure with them, without him being on the field. Let's go to our final two. We've got Sam McDowell and then Steve Walls. Go ahead, Sam. Hey, McCall. Um, how much this offseason, I mean, last year you, you were really good at the deep ball. So how much this offseason were you really concentrating on just fine-tuning those intermediate and short routes? I mean, a lot. I think, um, like you said, I, I was good at it last year. I think the deep ball is pretty pretty easily, you know, getting behind defenders and, you know, just tracking the ball catch. I think that's kind of easy. I think guys, any guys with speed, I think that's the easy part of the game, but more so just for us. So the dig routes, the, the stop routes, the curl, the the press, catching in traffic, you know, contested catches is what we got to work on. I think I, I worked on that a lot in the offseason, um, and, and I'm continuing to work on it right now. And even in practice, just, you know, focusing on the ball, catching everything. So I think those those tools will kind of make you a better receiver, and I think I know I need to do that better and, you know, pr- improve on that better, which I am and which I'm trying to do. So um, if I keep continuing that, I think if I'm more a threat, intermediate game then the deep ball game opened up for me which is pretty easy to me so go ask Steve Walls go ahead Steve hey what's up Miko uh Travis tweeted out after the game uh in the loss to the Raiders that you guys he has to play better and you responded it's a team effort and that you have to play better on those lines just how do you bounce back after that loss and what's the vibe been like so far this week in the locker room um definitely gonna bounce back this is more so attacking in their practice you know you know, accepting what you did wrong, you know, not trying to point fingers. And I think if, if we're accountable for everybody, accountable for ourselves, then we'll bounce back just fine. And like you said, with the tweet, you know, it, it is a team Africa. I don't think everybody played their best game. I don't think you could just single out any, anybody that can just be like, oh, yeah, well, he did his job. You know, it's, it's not that we don't point fingers. I think we're together as a team. We're going to win as a team. We're going to lose as a team. And I just feel like that's that's the mentality we have to have as a team, you know. And um, But this weekend practice, we're going to attack it. We're going there, and we're going to get better and better at practice. And, and hopefully that translates back to the game and bounce back with a win. 